Hi, welcome to Undead Yarn. My name is Heidi. I'm Katie. I'm Deborah. And this is episode, I think, 113 or 114. I'll put it down in the down bar. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Good. How are you doing? Pretty good. Thank you. Ready to talk about knitting? I am. What are you <laughs> working on? Actually, I'm also talking about crochet because today, believe it or not, it's been a while. But I have been working on a crochet project and it is called the Turnabout Cowl. And it's for a knit, not a knit along, I should say crochet along for Dallas Fort Worth Fiber Festival. And it's by Carissa Brown. Ooh. And I believe this is going to be this way. It's a cowl. And I'm getting ready to start doing this in the round. The yarn is Lone Star Arts yarn. And it is the elementary colorway, and I believe she does have some in her shop right now, if you want to go look. Um, this will be my first time crocheting in the round, so that should be interesting. It looks good so far. <laughs> yeah. And it's in, um, also in one of her bags. She was one of the first people to put out a Gilmore Girls bag, and I, of course, had to have that. I also have a, she gave me a, um, what do you call that, a needle it's holder? Needle holder. It's a needle holder. Needle minder. So they both match. They're so that's my first thing I'm working on. How about you guys? You want to do one too? Sure. I have this that I cast on. This was my Christmas Eve cast on. And it is the polish pattern by Hunter Hammerson from her new book, Shoreland Socks. Oh, and she's a new book. It came out in December, mm -hmm. November, December. Um, so... And I snatched up a physical copy that I don't have, but um, with me. And the yarn is hazelnut in the Barton Springs colorway. Really? Um, which huh. I think is exclusive to Gage Knits. Oh, okay. Um, that's really pretty. I had never heard of that, so that's probably and fine. And it is just this beautiful green. Yeah, I drove my, like, I saw this yarn called them if they had to see if they still had some in stock and I was like eight months pregnant <laughs> and my husband goes you really want that yarn I will drive you to get the yarn <laughs> and so we bought the that's the story of that yarn <laughs> you'll remember that yarn <laughs> yeah that's funny what are you working on I am working on a pretty plain sock but the striping is going to be awesome it's called rainbow yo-yo and i've had this yarn for like two years but i finally cast it on and i'm excited about it and i cannot wait for more stripes to be coming up right now i'm just on the pink at the very beginning and who yarn is that this is mustache yarn rainbow you might yarn. see a couple of mustache yarns yes <laughs> during this podcast yes <laughs> so actually i'm also working on a hunter hammerson pattern which one is this it? is the first one that I have ever, well, actually I've attempted one before and I didn't do very well. So this one, I actually, from the beginning, I just kind of, I figured it out. Katie gave me the suggestion of this Massad, I think it's called. Massad. 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 Yeah. And the yarn is Chasing Rabbits Fiber Co. I got this at Hill Country Weavers when I went to see Dawn of Independence Fiber Mill talk about her farm. And I just love the colorway. It's called Liberty. I don't know if you can see that. It's a very interesting light tonal green. I think it's green with some gray tints in it. And I really like it. And I'm very happy that I actually was able to do this in one try and not have to <laughs> rip it out over and over. <laughs> I remember that. not the easiest. That's going to look really good yeah. in that colorway. Yeah. I remember I knit my machads and they were like an aqua color and I finished them in August mm -hmm. and I went and took pictures outside and they were very warm. Mm. I was like, yeah, it's really hot here. It's not, <laughs> not great for wool socks. But I was so happy with them that I was like, I'm going to go take a picture. They're really pretty. So, yeah. It goes well with the colorway. I don't know if y'all can like see it. the pattern. It's just yeah. starting. The pattern's really just starting because right on the top it's a lot of twisted rib. But I kind of like twisted rib because it I holds see. up your socks really well. I, I do don't enjoy too. knitting it, but I like the way it feels. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Yeah. I do it the all my plain socks. I start them with twisted rib. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, this you one time one I one? started doing yeah, that. Yeah, one by one. After I saw yeah. you doing it. Yeah, I like <laughs> it. I like how it holds up the socks. But this sock is just all twisted rib, like the whole thing. And is there another? Has a, is there and how do you feel about the that? The gusset is like a cool. It like swoops. 
near it. So after the heel, it gets like interesting with the construction, but I actually haven't read the pattern because <laughs> they say read the whole pattern before you start a, start a project. And I, don't I do that almost either. never do that. I don't so do that either. I do it I for like sweaters. To, yeah, yeah. A sweater I yeah. might because then that, then a, that de yeah. designates whether or not I actually want to knit it. <laughs> <laughs> but for socks, no. Well, I like to be surprised, what can I say? Yeah, that's So funny. that was my second one. Surprise sweaters are not a good no. thing. No, they're not. I've been down that road. That's not fun. Yeah, Yeah, you don't want to play like yarn chicken or gauge no, chicken you're doing with a sweater. sweater. Oh, it's close. It'll be fine. No, it's not going to You'll have to have one arm in a different color. It's not going to be good. <laughs> What's in this bag? Oh, I was going to do this one after you do your oh, next one. No. This is the other yes. sock I have in progress that I haven't worked on in a while. It's like a cable pattern. It the, This pattern is Ephemeral Stream by Very Busy Monkey. It was a mystery knit along in like the Sock Knitters Anonymous group on Ravelry. Um, and I really liked it. And I say it's a Nictus yarn. Um, I don't know. What's that color? What the it's color gray. is. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Heavily. I, I, like I this, do like, love the blue. Stormborn. Ooh, is the oh, name of the colorway. That sounds like something from a book that I was so, reading. I wonder if weird. that was the inspiration. Um, I don't know. It was a gift from my brother. Hmm. What? The, the yarn. The yarn? Oh, I know. Isn't wow. that awesome? He's That's very good. Awesome. Yarn he is a gifter. great yarn gifter. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think my brother would even I've never met him, but I'm very, <laughs> I have a lot of respect for him. As, as a yarn gifter, he does really well. Anybody who gifts yarn is good in my book. Yeah, but if they can gift you sock yarn that you're actually going to like, yeah. then yeah. that's like that's that's even upper echelon gift giving is yeah. what I'm saying. So, Do you have another thing you're working on? I do. I'm working on these scrappy socks. So this is the one that I'm to the toes. And this, um, I'm going to use some adult language here. This is <laughs> batshit crazy is the colorway, and I'm loving it. Um, I'm use, I use that as the inspiration for my scrappy sock. I'm going to get really close. Really cool. Um, and it is by... Okay, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I'll tell Heidi and she'll put so it actually, in those notes. So it's a pattern. It's not... Oh, no. The pattern is just ribbed. It's just ribbed. Oh, okay. I did the twisted rib on the top, and then I do like a, a row, one row of like left twists because I'm weird, and I like to go into my 3 by one cable, my 3 by one ribbing. In a smooth transition um, so that's what I do in I like this this is a fish lips kiss heel but I really like this colorway this batshit crazy it really uh, who is the inspired buyer? that's what I was saying I can't remember oh, I, I remember. think it's Miss Babs I, I think it's Miss Babs I know I've um, heard the name before I think it's her two ply toes um, so you yeah. just that's like you're just switching different yarns. Yeah, it's just different scrappy okay, yarns. Or scraps? No, they're scraps. And I thought I was done with this first sock, and then I realized that I did not weave in all the ends. So I will be doing that hopefully you're done. tonight, and then I'll be done. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> um, as soon as I get the few, I try to weave them in as I go because I hate weaving in ends. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, that's Some that people one. just don't weave in their ends. Yeah, I weave mine in, but I leave the. I leave the tails kind of long because um, after taking a class with Coco Knits, she told she like she was like don't ever cut them really short because they can just get themselves undone even if you've woven them in. Yes, uh, and I did probably clip these oh, a little shorter than not I too should. Bad, though. Yeah, I it's think, not all the way up to the. She meant yeah. like don't clip it all the way up to the. So this is how yarn. short I clip them in case you need to know that information. Um, <laughs> so yeah. But it, it's I'm close. I can smell the finish line. So and then I love that. let's talk about finished projects because I want to talk about these. Um, this <laughs> is Deflect, which is a Hunter Hammerson pattern, and the yarn is Jaws Two, dyed by this lady right here, <laughs> Undead Yarn, Miss Heidi. So it's really pretty. I don't know the lighting is good, but it's like a really pretty teal, and it's got look at all these like this depth. I yeah. love and I love the, Look at the it. pattern. And then is I did. Cable? Does that have a cable? In it, it does have a cable. And then this is complex with the same yarn, so it's a fraternal pair that I did. And I really liked the depth of this yarn. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't like flat yarns. I can't handle it. I get bored. I, I can do stripes. I can do. Let me see what this. 
and, but I need a little, I need depth in my, in my knitting. I gotta have it. I can't do the like flat yarn. I just, it's, I'm like, it's not fun. I can't do it. Even these two ladies sweaters, are really good with more complex knitting than I am. <laughs> I oh, get bored I do easily. Stripes. I don't. Yeah, I do stripes. You know, if you gotta have some break it up, there's still some plain more, knitting. Yeah. I do stripes a lot. So um, I don't love weaving in ends though. So I'm going back to the mustache yarn with stripes on its own, and then I don't have, you have to, to do that. weave in all the ends. So that's where I'm at. Did you bring any finished objects? I did not. I have to. I know you finished that big, huge virus blanket. I did. I made a virus blanket and I finished it. I finished weaving all the ends in yesterday and it just needs a good bath and like I might steam it. What, I don't is, know. Is it acrylic yeah, yarn? Yeah, it's impeccable yarn. So if you Michaels. steam it, does it make it flat? I've never if tried to block acrylic. If you steam it too much, it will kill the yarn. So it will melt it and it will look terrible oh so you guys so yeah so if you if you get it too hot because acrylic is essentially plastic it will melt it and it's called killing the yarn yeah, and about that. you can look at pictures and it makes it like dull so sometimes you do it on purpose yeah I've heard um, people do it on purpose and I thought it was well, they like that they do it on purpose it they, gives it like a it, certain quality it stays that way maybe it doesn't you don't have to block it again well, yeah, because you, you can't, can't melt it. You can't. It. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. It's done. Yeah. <laughs> it is dead. Um, yeah. But, yeah, no, if you just kind of, like, lightly steam it, like, with a... I have a steam iron, but it would be easier if I had, a like, a clothing steamer. Um, and you can't, oh, like, you don't want to touch okay. the yarn. It's got to be um, above. Yeah, and that it does help, uh, like, kind of just make it nice. I think the blanket's beautiful. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, it's really good. Going in an auction, so hopefully oh, somebody. Yes. Uh, oh, I was, well, was going to ask you if you were keeping that for your daughter, but I guess no. Not. I have so many blankets. I was in a blanket phase for a really long time. I remember. So I have about <laughs> fifty million blankets. I have a lot of blankets. So, yeah. so she has enough already. Fifty or sixty million, hard to say. Yes. <laughs> I have one finished object. These are the socks I was knitting for my nephew, and it's in my Christmas land colorway. He said he wanted crazy colors. Christmas Land, if you, I don't know if, if you uh, know Joe Hill, he is, um, he is Stephen King's son, and he wrote this book called Nosferatu, and they did a series, and it's on Shudder and on another channel. I think Sundance, maybe. And, yeah. <laughs> so I named it after Christmas Lands in that book, because this, this was my Christmas colorway. So I'm very happy with them. I hope he likes them. His feet are just a little bit bigger than mine, so they actually fit my sock blockers. <laughs> I put them on, and I thought they were going to be a really floppy, but no, he's got a size 6. I've got a size 5. So there right. they are, and they're ready to go. And his birthday is this month, so I actually finished them at a good time. Right. I told him I was going to give them yeah. to him for Christmas, but that didn't work out. So I was like, oh, when's his birthday? Oh, it's March. <laughs> so he's going to get them for his birthday. Awesome. That works out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to giving them to him. Cool. Do you guys have any other projects to talk about? Um, I can talk about how I'm shopping for sweater yarn. Ooh. Um, Ooh. I'm gonna knit the Gwendolyn by Fiona Ellis, and hmm. it's a hoodie, and it's like it's a, it's a pullover, but I think I'm gonna knit it as a cardigan with no hoodie, so I can wear it to work. Is it worsted um, weight? It's worsted weight. It's got a lot of cables. If you know me, I love the cables. Um, yeah, so it's a beautiful green cable got all sweater. the cables everywhere. <laughs> I love it. Um, so I'm buying yarn for that probably tomorrow. Oh, so, we'll so not D you're not waiting for DFW. If I'm real lucky, I'll be wearing it at DFW. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm playing my cards right. I'm thinking wow, gray. That's a, good, that's a pretty. Yeah, you got a short time. I can't buy there, green right? one in a month. So I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm saying it could happen. happen. Okay. It could happen. It <laughs> may not happen. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm not knitting the hooded version. I'm just knitting oh. a normal cardigan. Oh, okay. Um, and it does have yeah, a lot of cables. Way it's up, not. Though. You don't have yeah. to stick it, do you? Yeah. No. I mean, I'm not. I'll have to look at the pattern. <laughs> I'm going to read the pattern <laughs> all, all read the way already. through. <laughs> I, I bought the pattern and printed it today. I will read it all the way through. I will swatch. I will follow all the rules. Um, and I really like my green one, so I feel like following the rules has played well for me in, my, yeah. in the past, so I'm going to give it a go. 
Um, but the one in the, it's green, and, or it's gray, and then it has like a green stripe around the edge. And hmm. so I think I'm going to do that for the. So you're going to do gray and green? Mm -hmm, I think so. I think I'm going to ask. I'm gonna I hope it's not too hot. Copy the designer. Not too hot when we go to DFW, but it's usually, we usually have the mornings are cool, right? I'm going to use the same rule that I used last time, which was I don't care how hot it is. <laughs> you will not see me in the sweater if I finish it. So are you going to DFW too? I yeah. think that's, that's the next Fiber Fest coming up in this area. I'm going on a retreat in a couple of weeks, which I'm really looking forward to. It's basically like a production retreat. Like you go there, um, it's a crafter's retreat, so it's not just for knitters. It's, we're kind of like thrown in the mix, but it's really like cross stitchers and then there's quilters okay. and you get a huge table to yourself and there's like plugs and stuff so you can I brought my own coffee pot because they I'm picky about my coffee <laughs> we went last year and basically people just knock stuff out you just sit there for two days and just knock stuff out somebody cooks for you you don't go anywhere <laughs> you just stay there that for two sounds days. awesome yeah yeah <laughs> so yeah well I'm really looking forward to that and they might have some spots left if anybody's interested but well, we'll have it's, to talk to you. Yes, it's um, about an hour and a half away from here, okay. and it's in this place. You will not believe what it's called. Mount Calm. How perfect is that that's for a retreat? Really, yeah, that's really <laughs> And it's like a little good. teeny tiny town that has like two little grocery stores that aren't really grocery stores. They're like convenience stores that are expanded because there's the closest place is Waco, which is about 40 minutes away. What's so, in this lovely bag? This is my last project that I'm working on. And I started that this is one. so cute. Yeah, I got this at the Hill Country Weavers Retreat a couple years ago. It's really cute. And it's really, look how, I don't know if you can see how heavy duty this it is. It is very heavy duty. And it's like, it's really nice. Like and it's canvas, really cute. Like big canvas. Yeah. And they gave us, they had different patterns and different designs. I think they still sell these at Hill Country Weavers. And I think, let me see what it's called. Actually, it's called Danica Studios. They might even sell this on Nitpicks. I think it might be one of the brands that they sell at Nitpicks. Um, and the great thing is you can also keep stuff in a front pocket, too. I get a little bit nervous with zippers on my bags because I don't mm -hmm. always have great luck like that. I have had that happen, but I do like it when they're could... deep enough. Yes. Like, this project has not yeah, gotten that big yeah. yet. Oh, that's pretty. So this, I bought the Advent mm -hmm. minis from Once Upon a Corgi. Okay, I'm going to hold this up for Well, you all know I love Sarah J. Moss. Look at this. And she's... Face that on it is it's a, it's a gold sparkle too instead of the oh my gosh instead so of the pretty. regular um that's so pretty you had a choice of the yarn and I wanted the sparkle because I don't have the gold sparkle so she gave you the a base as well yes and that you could pick that because I noticed a lot of people were knitting this this advent calendar set but they mm -hmm. did not have the contrast color but I'm glad I did. Because I kind of think it makes it look better to have that purple in between everything. Now, is this going to be a wrap? Mm -hmm. This is called the Advent Wrap, and it's by someone named Devin Steiner. And actually, one of my friends told me about this pattern. She, um, I think she's friends with him. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. B. Devin Steiner, Steiner. Cardinal Fiber Co. So you can find it on Ravelry, but... Look at that, y'all. And I can't believe it. I have not done lace in ages. It looks gorgeous. But it's really not that, the pattern is not that bad as long as you have stitch markers. I well, lace. I need stitch markers. Not everybody does. I do because I'll lose track and I'll be like, wait, wait, what part am I on? <laughs> so it helps. Okay. Well, we're probably going to be wrapping things up. We are going to, um, well, see you guys at DFW if you're going to yes, be there. Yes, see you there. Yeah. So have a great night or morning whenever you watch this. What I'm going to say is get busy knitting or get busy dying. Bye, y'all.